Hey everyone, so this is a cool uh, 3D AI tool that allows you to put a prompt in and then it will generate a 3D model and you can actually download that model from this website and uh, if you look over here, I think the default is this GLB which is free um, but I download STLs and then I can bring it into like a 3D printing uh, software and then I can print those models and um, these I guess require like sometimes more points they have like some sort of like token or like point system and everything kind of costs something I've only got the free version of it and I think that comes with 600 of these per month um, and this was one thing that I generated and it generated four of them so if I go back to the home and then my models you can see the two different models that I generated so this was one prompt and then this was a separate prompt and so if we look at the house so like this one I think is kinda good um, I think it'll show you what the I don't know the limits are but here I just asked for a bloodborne gothic building with monsters on it or with a monster on it and in this case it seemed to put like an anteater or something and it's hovering and then the rest of them doesn't have anything but you can see how well it does at like individual prompts uh, like these are some samples that it has out there uh, along this bar here so I just think this is super cool and like this is one of my favorite models that it generated uh, my son liked this one here uh, I want to say Or he liked wasn't that one it is and I keep clicking on all the ones that aren't right so he liked this one and so it generated three different or four different models off of one prompt and then you have access to all of those and then you can download them and you can see it also textures it which I think is super cool now I have not played around with a lot of different 3d generation tools this is kinda the first one I did mess with stuff years ago where you could scan your own models and, and it would create uh, you scan things in real life and then it would create a model from it but this is just um, just text so you put the text in and then it generates uh, something for you so the cool thing is is we can download an STL and I downloaded an STL and then brought it into Revit you can see it's pretty slow like it's rotating terribly slow and then um, if we actually change the colors of the background we'll put it as like a black we should be able to see the all the lines that make up that object so you can see it's pretty complex and so you've got, you've got a, a lot of different uh, formats you can mess around with if you wanted to explore the option of creating content to bring into Revit this isn't something I would do I just mostly did it for fun to kind of see if I could bring it in there um, you can also bring the STLs into like a, a printing software and that's what this is and then um, so it came in and you can see it's I think relatively smooth uh, and you can download I think better versions of it where they're uh, a bit smoother now I have not explored a lot of other options when it comes to these types of tools so I really don't know where it sits between those other options like is it cheaper is it more expensive um, I would love to explore some open source options uh, if there are any out there at some point 
But anyways, I wanted to share this because I thought it was cool how easy it was to generate models and then bring those into um, your 3D software for printing or even a design tool like Revit. Um, it's not the best, but I think it it's not necessarily intended to do this. Um, but the fact that you can, I think, is pretty cool because then you can maybe, if you wanted to use stuff in Revit or another tool, um, you could optimize that geometry so that it does work well in that design tool. So anyways, just wanted to show that. thought it was cool. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next one.